Only a reptilian would make reptilian money on the bills and put his own face on the bill. Isn't that so? The Swiss 50 francs green in the reptilian color. Reptilian money. I apologize to you all for showing you these boring problems considering 16 years of organized states terror on me and my family. But there's a real need for showing some of the evidence and let the world know about the terrible things happening here. I hope it weighs out with the more exciting videos I offer to you, which couldn't have been made without this incessant terror, organized Swiss crime and violence against me and my family, through which I was enabled to analyze Switzerland, the heart of evil. I suppose this is the real, the true essence of being a martyr. I'm not a religious person, but well, I hope you all accept my humble apology for being forced to show you all my daily worries caused by this pure evil. I honestly wished I didn't have to portray and exhibit my private life and that of my family here on YouTube and on social media. It's not funny at all to have your privacy being blowing out in the wind for all to see. And together with all the terror, this is quite hard. But I see no other way as the system fails for its corruption and Nazi ideologies of Swiss politics prevailing. And the EU, the European Community, the, a the Human Rights and the United Nations are just a joke that they let it happen. So here we can see the... Um, the party's newspaper of the Swiss uh, People's Party. Charming, isn't it? But even this is forbidden in the Swiss dictatorship. You're not allowed to talk about Swiss crime and terror and criticizing the clean, innocent and neutral Swiss is entirely out of the question and gets punished with more organized Swiss terror as we can see here, where in fact all I do is beg the world to make the Swiss stop their terror, violence and abuse against me and my family and show the world at least what's going on. But this only brings out even more terror and more Swiss violence who even come and ring at the door to hit me and physically aggress me only because they can't find me outside anymore. Because for the last two years I didn't go out alone anymore and sometimes was confined in this Swiss house arrest like two or three months in a row. And now I don't even dare to go out on the balcony anymore with these Swiss Nazis roaming around the house to get me just in time for the trial next week on November the 26th and 27th of 2013. We can all see here in these documents, which I'll, I'll show you later, how they survey all next videos I make on YouTube. So they have seen the video a few, a few weeks ago where the Swiss Nazi comes and hits me. Well, no Swiss police nor judiciary responded to that one. And it's okay with them that my children, 11 years old and almost two years, one year old, not even two years, were crying out of fear and terror and misery and Swiss violence. Yes, my children were crying. And they have to live through this for 16 years now. But that's okay with the Swissies, eh? But if I would have defended myself, then the Swiss authorities would have been all crawling over me in that very case, which I had to experience before when I didn't know the laws of Switzerland yet, their set of silent laws that is. And the entire Swiss people agrees with all this, as they always did and always will. And all Swiss know they're always right in front of a court when a Swiss hits and aggresses an immigrant. And every single Swiss knows 
that in that very case, as shown here, they'll have the Swiss police on their side, who only intervene in the reversed case, when a foreigner defends himself and hits the aggressive Swiss back. Then the Swiss Nazi police will come with 10 police cars, ballistic jackets on, an overkill load of guns and shove the foreigner into the boogie house at the end. Look, in these Swiss Nazi newspapers, they only talk about how clean the Swiss are and how terrible and, and criminal the foreigners are. That's all they talk about, really. That's all. Well, I know how they make criminals here between brackets. Look, th this is Nazi propaganda. This is out of the 30s and the 20s and that was Swiss made from the start. The Germans are not even like that. Like with fear and financing Mr. Hitler, they had the Germans go crazy. Well, a part of them, most of them, they didn't even want Mr. Hitler. It's all Swiss made. Look, all, the, all these newspapers, all the time they're sending them in the, in the mailbox, you know, there's loads of them. And all this propaganda about all, criminal, all, all criminals are foreigners and, well, we, we could see it, you know. They come and hit me at the door because they don't find me anymore outside. And they don't do a thing. They look at all my videos, you know, and they, they, they don't do a thing. So, we can see how they make criminals here. This is not a, cre uh, this is not a cl clean country. This is, this is Mr. Mr. the next Mr. Hitler now here in Switzerland. And they're very dangerous, these Swiss. They have an enormous impact on uh, our European Nazis. Because the Swiss, they say, well, Use the, uh, the system and the democracy, as they told Mr. Hitler. Well, he used the democracy, and when he got hold of the system, the, uh, the judiciary, the politics, the, the police department, the army, well, we all know what happened, eh? And it's happening here. Yeah. Talking about justice. Well, how, how dare they? How dare they talk about justice? I've been patient here for 16 years. And I still will be. Was bin ich? Was flippt? Was mache ich? Sie sind nicht als Mieter hier. Ja, und? Ja. Und weiter? Und wenn Sie Probleme machen, fliegen Sie. Ich mache keine Probleme. Mal. Das sind hier drei kleine Kinder und du wirst hier nicht gefeilt und geschweißt. Haben Sie das verstanden? Die Kinder müssen die haben nicht Ferien. rauskommen. Die können aus der Tür. Also, das ist die Haustür. Ich, äh, Sie meinen, die... unsere Kinder dürfen nicht raus. Mach jetzt das weg. Well, here's some more of the things they're lying together, you know, just to get criminals in, pr in prison to, for politics, you know, as we've just seen in these Nazi newspapers. They only talk about it. So the first thing, Nötigung, well, I don't even know what that is. I'm not even getting out of the house, for God's sake, for the last two years. So how could I have done anything wrong? And that says, öffentliche Aufforderung zu Verbrechen oder Gewalttätigkeit. That means an appeal for violence. You just saw the newspaper and how they exhibit uh, other races and people in the streets here and how they talk the Swiss with, with other Nazi groups. They do this appeal for violence and I don't do these things. The only thing I did in 2001, well that's 13 years ago, do you hear me Swissies? That's 13 years ago, I wrote a letter to a man, a father, Mr. Ercoué in France, and he had a son and a wife. The son had a wife and they had a baby who was three months old. The Swiss followed them. They lied some stuff together, as they always do. And they shot him, not only in Switzerland, not in Switzerland, but they shot him in France. With 18 bullets, three in the back. The baby almost got a couple of the bullets and they didn't even get punished. Because the Freemasons in France, they got the orders from the Swiss Templars 
and they never got punished. So what I do, I appeal against violence. I, I, I wrote to this poor father who got completely destroyed by uh, seeing his son losing his life like this. And I never made any appeal for violence. Here you can see what a bold liars these Swiss are. They just turn things around. They kill somebody on almost a baby. And then they say the other, the other ones who talk about it, they are violence. Me, Sean Ross, I appeal against violence. You Swiss liars. Then it says Rassendiskriminierung. It means racial discrimination. Well, I mean, what, what should I say? Did any one of you hear me anything say bad against other races? Did I? Never. I hate these sort of things. And you can all see what the Swiss do here, how they hate other races, how they show black sheep and, and, and other races as all sorts of animals in the street. How dare they say this? The Swiss are the racists, not me. I hate these sort of things, you Swiss liars. And the other thing, Anmassen eines akademischen Titels. It means having used an academical title, like doctor, uh, without being a doctor. Well, I, I tell you, I don't have any papers, you know, so I, they already terrorized me for not having any papers for more than 10 years here. 14 years to be exact. So. Um, uh, uh, actually, uh, I, I don't want to discuss it now if I am really a doctor or not. It doesn't matter. Because uh, I use, I never use the word doctor only alone. And I never work with it. So if you don't work with it, you know, it's not a, a criminal act anyway. So I only said doctor SDF. And that's French, it means sans domicile fixe. And that was a, a nickname. Uh, of, because I was a homeless for many years in France and the other homeless because I was always studying and reading and I didn't drink any alcohol as the rest I never took any drugs uh, before I got tortured I never drank any alcohol so in German this is called Spitzname do you hear me Swissies? Spitzname in French it's called Surnom and that's allowed so they are by law this is allowed to have a nickname you know you can you can see everywhere doctor, doctor rapper and doctor DJ and all these things, you know. The Swiss, it's all nepotism. They're all lying. You know, you can see here, they are, they're just looking for, to put an immigrant in, into, into, the, into the prison. Into the box, like, you know. That's all they're looking for. They're a bunch of bold liars. Like Bill Cooper says, bold liars. Yeah. And they don't talk with a word about the things they did to us, you know. I've been inside the house for two years now. Before it wasn't rosy either. They, they broke my health. They took my boy away. They terrorized my children here. And you can see it. They even filmed it. And if you film them, they come with a terrorist squad and put three guns in your head because they don't want to be filmed. This is the center of evil. I know them now and I analyze them. So this is the first chapter, the first chapter, the, the, the second chapter. The first chapter was their terror. Then the second chapter that I show the world who they are and what they do. And there will be a third chapter. Watch it coming. By the way, I don't even know what they mean with racial discrimination. I think I read it somewhere else. Uh, I can't even take it serious and, and, and read the whole phone book they're sending me, you know. Um, so I think they meant, I read it somewhere, they meant that I, dis I, I racially discriminate the Swiss. Well, this is technically impossible because unfortunately we belong to the same race. I, Sean Ross, belong to the same race as the Swissies. We are whiteies. So this is technically impossible. Do you hear me, Swissies? So stop your lies. And, um, yeah, this is, this is what happens. If you criticize them, if you analyze them, then they say, whoa, we poor Swiss, we are the victims, we are uh, racially discriminated by this awful foreigner. You know, that's what they do. So I'll show you the rest here. So here's some more of the whole phone book they sent me. 
If you read German, you can read that. Just punch pause. Um, if, I, if I would know how to do it, I would have uh, copied it like and put it in the computer and it would have been easy to show it, but I don't even know how to do it. I'm such a jerk with computers, really. They talk about YouTube. But they Apparently they don't like it. You know, they analyze everything. Except when they come and ring at the door, the police was probably waiting around the corner. That's what they did before. In Utzenstorf. They did this before. They were there in two minutes. When another Swiss, a Swiss farmer, he aggressed me. And I didn't know yet that you couldn't defend yourself. So... I folded the Swiss farmer, I folded him up like three times, if you know what I mean. I had to be operated twice. So I'm not afraid of them. So the Swiss Middle Ages are very much afraid of, the, uh, of YouTube and the new world, the modern world. Oh, they are afraid of this. It brings them out of the Middle Ages, you know. They analyze everything, except when they ring at the door and hit me. <laughs> There's nothing. They're, gonna, they're not going to write it in here. Oh no. So just punch pause if you want to read it. So this, this, this is just some of it. You know, they're talking about the Pharaoh show in German. <laughs> they didn't like that one. Well, do you hear me, Swissies? My analyze and telling about your history is a direct result of your terror. Do you understand that? Do you copy? You brought this onto yourself. And if you're gonna do more to me and my family, I tell you, thousands or tens, hundreds of thousands of people will know now. So no, think first what you do. Because this one, you're not going to put under the carpet anymore. Do you get me, Swissies? Well, what else to expect from a country and from a people that put lizards on their money? Green lizards. Cold green lizards. As cold as the snow in the Alps. As cold and criminal as their judiciary and their crimes against me and my family. You cold reptilians you are. Well, this is octagon. What proof do you need?